Just Pock. Did you say Jizz Pock? Just Pock. What is Jizz Pock? <laughs> Just Pock. I don't know. That was what a couple a couple of our friends in high school would call him Jish Pock in like backyard wrestling or something. Oh, 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 oh. Like oh, Six your... Pock. Yeah, that's, that's, that's hilarious. <laughs> uh, you know what my wrestling name was? What? You didn't have one. <laughs> So if six Pac or X Pac, Josh somehow became Jish Pac. I don't know how that came about. Or do you remember? No, I don't. Know. It's top ten time. All right. We're gonna do the our opinions of the top ten best on the mic superstars or pro wrestlers, whatever have you. On the mic. Uh, on the mic. Microphone skills, promos, shoots, things like that. Do I get a top ten? I'll go after you all. Okay. Could you even name ten? Ten what? <laughs> I'm going to tell you the number one Macho Man. Period. I mean, snap into a Slim Jim. Everyone knows this. <laughs> no one made you want a Slim Jim more than the Macho Man. I've I never had right a Slim Jim. You've never had a Slim Jim? No. Get out. I did yeah, get out. What the fuck? You're, you're I, never, I, I bought into everything Macho Man said except for the skin. You've never had. A, was, <laughs> I'm, have you ever had a meat stick? No. You've never. What about just regular beef jerky? No, I never had it. Why? Never tried. <laughs> uh, there's something gross about it. I don't know. It was too too macho for me, I guess. <laughs> You've never had any beef jerky. Do you eat meat? Yeah, I do. I eat, I eat meat. You, you Almost eat exclusively meat, meat except okay. for. <laughs> So I just never tried this one. <laughs> so, so, so. <laughs> How is it possible for someone not to have beef jerky or Slim Jim? I don't understand. Are you American? Are you born here? What the hell? <laughs> like, literally, not at beef jerky. I think to myself, <laughs> when I was growing up, the only way my dad would get us to go anywhere with him was to buy us beef jerky. Yeah. He'd buy us a meat stick and be like, flat around. <laughs> that was the only question. Flat around. Flat around. <laughs> I've never had. <laughs> like, Matt's. One year old daughter just turned one a couple of weeks ago, and for her birthday, he got her a box of Slim Jims. <laughs> and that's what she wanted. She he, she had her own cake, but she didn't want it. She wanted the Slim Jims. She, had to, she had to stick Slim Jims in. <laughs> and I want to hear about it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, the have best you, one. Have you just the, like made it a point not? I just to? I don't know. I, for some reason, it was too it was too macho. Get the, too, get the really freaking hot habanero what? Slim Jim. It was macho. No, 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 no. Get the cracked pepper Slim Jim. It's oh, better. That's a good one. It is a good one. I just kind of wanted to... Well, I would like to be with him, though, if he could have the hot actually. habanero Slim Jim. <laughs> beef jerky. Nah, I, I, I want to talk about beef jerky now, because, like... I would have to just do a whole show where we make Josh eat <laughs> Slim Jims and beef jerkies. <laughs> that's not fair. I want to do it, too. I mean, well, we can eat them, but I just want to watch him... Try his first one. <laughs> snap into get, my, get him snap the monster. Into my first get him the yeah. monster. So he's like, you get what you <laughs> what you do is you buy like extremely lean hamburger meat and make your own. It is extremely good. I mean, like I used to buy it from this lady when I worked. I mean, there. I, I, Can you still I, snap I make into my own it? Beef jerky. It has a snap on the end. Yeah, the edges of it, but it's not nearly as it's hard. I would eat a homemade slim jim. But you won't eat a store bought slim jim. <laughs> I just never have. Uh, it's not this portion wouldn't. of Life's a Beach has been brought to you by Make Someone Eat a Damn Slim Jim. <laughs> share, share with a friend. You're married and you do have kids, right? Yeah. You still have not had a Slim Jim. Never had a reason to, I don't guess. I don't, think, I don't think anyone's I've ever never, offered me a Slim I've Jim. I've never had a reason to <laughs> breathe. That's the happened. weirdest damn thing I've ever heard. I don't think anyone's ever offered a Slim Jim until now, I guess. All right, Josh. Uh, top ten best on the microphone. You can start us off, Josh, with your 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 number ten choice. Uh, best would, on the mic. My number ten would be uh, Mr. Perfect, Kurt Henning. I don't know his name. <laughs> That's hilarious. I, I did consider him for the. I list, went back and forth just... between him and Ravishing Rick Rude. Mm. But Rick Rude. Remember that guy. Yeah, I mean, I people, remember. I know these people. They, they we, both they grew were, up together in, in Minnesota. So. Yeah, where well, the girl, the girls would. What was the What's game the they played where the, where the girls would make out with him and faint, <laughs> and then, <Yeah. laughs> on, on camera, and they would be narrating it. Yeah. That's, right. that's, that's a good one though. Kurt Henning was uh, <laughs> maybe not in the later days of WCW mm -hmm. when they made him like the country singer and thing, <laughs> yeah. like rap. He is crap. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> 
That was garbage, but when he was Mr. Perfect in the WWF, I said it, in the WWF with his, man, it was just his vignettes alone, where he's like, with the basketball, the golf, the bowling, everything. The the, the hitting the gum at the the crowd. His vignettes. His videos. Okay. Uh, My number 10 was The Ultimate Warrior. Oh, yeah. Warrior. Never made sense. Never made sense, but think about it. That made him awesome on the microphone because I mean, this is a guy that's from parts unknown. I love like speak <laughs> randomly, randomly. If you could shit. think of the banks of Lake Kitty <laughs> that in my head makes me makes me wonder. <laughs> like, if he knew he was speaking like to people <laughs> and not like spirits. <clears throat> Warrior, that, that's what I enjoyed last year about Warriors Hall of Fame induction. I'm just like, I'm waiting for it because there's no telling what this guy's going to say. But yeah, then he was just he like, even inducted. he kind of went his like normal. kids and wife were inducted. No, that was, that was this year because he died last year after right. his induction. But Warrior, <laughs> you don't understand what he's talking about with the the rocket fuel and f- crashing the parts unknown and all that, but he played his character on the mic. So, Ultimate yeah. War, Charlie Sheen. <laughs> yeah. We're, we'll accept that. <clears throat> Warrior was on my list. Warrior was on Tiger's Blood. <laughs> Winning. <laughs> Warrior ring. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, uh, number nine. I put The Rock. As nine? As nine. <laughs> yeah, I think he'd be higher on the list. That man knows how to talk. Yeah, he was great. I mean, I, I think there were there were people with, I don't know what why I thought he was in his. He was a little uh, one dimensional to me. Yeah, it panders to the crowd <laughs> a little too much for, especially now. He'll just say something just to get it to be like the you're talking about the like most tweeted. From, from I would give him I would Nick give him Foley to Hulk Hogan. He was closer to Hulk Hogan. I would give him. The Rock best finishing move. I would give Stone Cold the best finish or The Undertaker. The Rock. The fucking chokes. That just seems horrible. The Rock actually the Rock used had... his finishing move in the last Fast and Furious movie. <laughs> he, like, rock bottomed. Not The Rock, uh, but what was the thing with the, the elbow? The people's, oh, the people's elbow. elbow? I would give the people's elbow. <laughs> so he elbows someone. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. It's That's not a matter. fishing move, okay? <laughs> that move's still around today. It's just called uh, the Five Knuckle Shuffle. But John the people's Sandler. elbow had more pizzazz. The most pizzazz. For a finishing move. Yeah, with all that. <laughs> <laughs> Most, I like a finishing move. Anybody that can build up. Who could not move. get up from an elbow on your chest? It's like it's like you fell into <laughs> win a match by having Hulk Hogan drop a leg drop. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> the leg the drop was move. one of the weirdest ones. I mean Chin and John music, Cena's five knuckle music, shuffles the same Chin way. music is one that would like I think Chin music up. Shawn Michaels Shawn sweet Michaels. Chin music yeah. yeah that's about the only that's a, that's a good one you, and, you can hear him when he kicks it's like yeah, yeah. and the choke <laughs> slam that's another one and who is it that does the, um, the DDTs Jake DDTs. the Snake Roberts Jake the Snake yeah. or Raven those literally Raven. look dangerous yeah you know if you don't trust the person doing it to you you don't let them do it to you yeah uh uh, Shane Douglas DDT'd uh, <coughs> <Pitbull>. it's all fake <coughs> sorry <laughs> Shane Douglas DDT'd to Pitbull Gary Wolf and ECW once and actually like Gary Wolf didn't take it right and broke his neck and he was in a halo for, for quite some time after that you know there was there was a uh, one of the Steve Austin's podcasts I was listening to recently he was talking to uh, well he talked about it with Jim Ross and Paul Heyman talking about no one sells a DDT anymore like he was talking about Jake the Snake back in the day. DDT somebody, they're done. They're out. He said, now no one, it's not believable anymore because no one sells it. You, uh, you give you somebody a DDT call, and they're up before the person that gave the DDT. You know why they call them finishing moves? Is if you get it off on someone, it's supposed to be the end. Yeah, and, then, and that's not true. Lot now. now, now, and I think it's mainly because of games. They're out of mm-hmm. Action points or whatever it is. Yeah, the concept well, thought, of a finishing move is, is kind of like a video yeah, game. Yeah, it's, it's you know, I mean, I, literally, this is no joke. Undertaker or Kane, whoever, the, the big show would do a choke slam. Those are detrimental. Sweet chin music. When you're running at someone and your face stops, but the rest <laughs> of your body don't, <laughs> that's detrimental. 
Uh, the clothesline from Bradshaw. The oh, clothesline from Hale. Yeah, yeah. And have you ever been cross-winged chicken face before? Cross-face chicken? Yeah. Whatever. I tapped that out shit, in backyard wrestling. Yeah, exactly. For, that shit's a cross real. Chicken wing. <laughs> I can see those things, but someone elbowing or a leg drop or... <laughs> but that's what made... That's the... I think... Uh, the drama of the The drama actual, of... I give points to... The theatrics. Kind of like, the, what is the the backflip moon? Is it moonsault or something like that? Moonsault. Where someone runs, does a backflip and lands on people or does a gainer. I have gainer on someone's face or yeah. body or whatever it was. That is more detrimental on the person <laughs> doing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rob Van Dam's five-star frog splash. He hurts himself <laughs> yeah. more than the person he lands on because he always rolls off them like, oh. yeah, and he crawls over and covers them. <laughs> You never saw Eddie Guerrero do a frog splash and be like, oh. <laughs> he just like hurts I himself. To, I mean, just doing a leg drop on, on a wrestling ring. I did that and hurt my like whole bottom half. <laughs> like way more than what, you have to land people, at the... People that do like high fly moves onto a table. There's a body in the way, but it's still a yeah. table. I don't yeah. know how and Jeff you're, Hardy's you're not You're going to half. break the body, yeah. supposedly, then the table. What's next? An instant stop. An ass there's bone, no, a backbone. There's no, there, yeah, yeah. there's no padding. It's, it's. Hopefully the person's not the, still under it's you. It's not the fall that's going to hurt you. It's the sudden stop yeah, yeah, yeah. that's going to get you. Well, it's like have you ever done a leg drop and hurt someone? You can't I've do it. I've never done a leg you drop. You can't. No, because I've leg dropped on trampoline. Well, because so you, you hit bounce. on the you hit on the weak part of your inside of your leg. If you're gonna hit. Oh, you're meaning your butt. When you fall on someone, you hit them with the in, the backside of your. Uh, what is that knuckle uh, on your knee called? <laughs> that's your I, knee. I, that's your, I, uh, I fail biology. Or, or, that's not even biology. What is it? Criminology? That would, that no. Would be biology. I guess technically. Would, yeah. Point being, that that's not the strongest part of the leg to hit somebody in the neck with. What would be? <laughs> the, the, the knee. The heel, that would I don't know. be horrible. It would be horrible for you. That, that's a move. Yeah. That, that's a move that looks <laughs> believable. <laughs> you fall and knee someone in the neck. That would break your leg. <laughs> yeah. I, to be completely honest, the inside of your leg, the inside of your knee, is probably the best place to hit someone. Uh, number eight. Wait, I didn't even get my number nine. Uh, Chris Jericho. Who? He's got Y2J, Y2J, Y2J. Y2J. the Lionheart. Uh, Who? He's got the, he's got oh, the oh oh Y two J. I got it. Now. He's got the mic skills, but can sometimes get a little. Annoying Sorry, after fifteen a while. years of I don't know. I put I put uh, Ted DiBiase as my next one. That's see, I eight, know your about. list. How you see it? I know, no, I know oh, yeah. the people on your list. Oh, you do? Yeah. That's... Ted DiBiase. I actually did consider I mean. DiBiase, but DiBiase. I was like, eh. He was a good bad guy. He had a lot of money. <laughs> He would shove a hundred dollars in your mouth the, after every match. I didn't like The Rock because I said he was one dimensional, and all my other lists is like a million dollar man. His only thing was that he had money, which means he's evil. Chris Jericho, Chris Jericho was good, but he'd get annoying after a while with his. Well, the same with The Rock. He would say the same thing, comparing to the crowds. He Jericho would have spread the, never of ones ever. He the same was again. He had a lot of money. Yeah. Do you have a spread of ones? I don't. That's a lot of money to me. I mean, 10 ones looks like a bunch of money. My first Look, car, I bought my on. first car with a wad of $2 bills. Really? I did. It was a $1,400 worth of $2 bills. <laughs> Is that where my $2 bill went that disappeared back in the day? I may have stolen it. <laughs> no, this was before I, we hung out. Oh. Yeah, this was, like, was, that uh, the, was that the green machine? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Fourteen hundred bucks of two dollar bills. Hmm. I bought a ring for a girl with two dollar bills also. Okay, so your number eight. You said Ted DiBiase. Yeah. Um, my number eight. Paul Heyman. I thought you were gonna say something about <laughs> you just putting it back up. My number eight is Paul Heyman. Genius with a microphone. Not a wrestler, but if it wasn't for Paul Heyman, it's who not, would Brock Lesnar be? He's not Brock Lesnar sounds like he's a. Just a. He's just. <clears throat> A promoter. He's a, good a genius promoter. promoter. They can he's manipulate not really a him. genius promoter. He was a genius promoter. The people on ECW weren't even getting paid, but he's like, oh, I get you. I get you. That just kept going until they went out of business in 2001. But actually, ECW, he had already walked on to WWE Raw 
WWF Raw at the time, as a commentator before they ever folded ECW. But he did that so that he could finally pay off his wrestlers in ECW. Uh, mm. What do you got for seven? I got uh, Warrior. <laughs> you got Warrior for seven, I for ten. That's funny. You've got Warrior for seven. I had Warrior for ten. You had The Rock a one. I've got The Rock for seven. Yeah. What's your next one? Uh, number six, Stone Cold Steve Austin. I had Scott Hall. No, I, I considered Scott Hall too. <laughs> Scott Hall, see, it's another. But his thing was just, the best thing was just that. Hey yo. Yeah yeah. <laughs> Stone Cold didn't do thing. shit. What he is known for is catching a beer. <laughs> that's what I was saying. Doing. Hell yeah, or what? See, yeah, that's the thing. I don't I don't notice that stuff, and I just kind of ignored it. Speaking of catching a beer. <laughs> that almost hit me in the face. <laughs> Brought to you by Steve Austin. That shook up. That's gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna let it explode all my face and just pour it on myself. I'm gonna drink. I'm like the Sandman. It goes in my throat. Life's a beach. <laughs>